If you've got nothing to do, well I've got a couple of chicks for you. So take a look at the vids, cause it's five hacks for kids. I'm Jillian and today's episode is Pineapple Hacks. Pineapples are a hot new trend that are popping up on everything. Have to disagree with you there, sister. Pineapples have been a trend since the 1600s when they were so precious and rare, they became a symbol of royal privilege. Good to know, thanks. And what makes it funny is that the green part of the pineapple is actually called the crown. No wonder the royals love them. Interesting. Another fascinating fact, they became so popular that people would rent a pineapple to have at their party, and then later that same pineapple would be eaten by someone richer who could actually afford it. Well, before this show becomes life facts for kids, how about we hack some awesome and fun pineapple stuff? Hack away! First up, my stamptastic pineapple tea. For this hack, you'll need a paper plate, sponges, yellow and green fabric paint, a white t-shirt, scissors, a marker, paper, and cardboard. To make our pineapple tea, we're going to use the sponges as stamps. The first thing I'm going to do is draw some rounded and diamond triangle shapes on the sponges. And then cut them out. While she's cutting out those shapes, I'm going to draw some leaf shapes on this other sponge. Now we're going to put some of the green paint and the yellow paint onto the paper plate and then use the paper to practice making your pineapple. Now that we're happy with this, we're ready to make it permanent on the t-shirt. First, we're gonna put the cardboard in between the layers of the shirt so that the paint doesn't bleed through. Now you're using your paper as a guide and then you're gonna stamp on another pineapple onto your shirt. And then you let it dry. This looks great. Can I have it? Um, you can rent it. This next hack will make pineapples the center of attention in any room, my pineapple push lamp. For this hack you'll need about 100 yellow plastic spoons, a pen, scissors, a soda bottle, a push light, a hot glue gun, and green construction paper. If you don't have yellow spoons, you can just spray paint white ones yellow. First, you're going to snap off the handle part off your spoon. Now cut off the top and bottom part of your bottle. Starting at the bottom, glue a row of spoons just overlapping the edge. Once you've finished your first row, you're going to do another one, but you're going to use the spoons to cover up the spaces. Keep making rows of spoons to cover the entire bottle. Now we're going to make the crown part of a pineapple, so I'm going to draw a round leafy shape onto my paper. Put a small circle in the center, and then cut it out. Now draw a long leafy shape like this. And then cut it out. Now we're going to glue on the round leafy shape on top, and then you roll up the other paper and glue it in the center. And then fold the leaves out to match the crown of a pineapple. Now turn on your light and then place the shade over it. And let your love for pineapple shine. I may have to rent this one too. My final hack is pineapple at its best. A hacked doll whip you can make at home. No way, that's awesome. You're right, it is my hacked Dole Whip. For this hack, you'll need a cup or a bowl for serving, two cups of frozen pineapple, frozen whipped topping, pineapple juice, scissors, a spoon, a plastic bag, and a blender. 
first we're going to put the frozen pineapple into the blender. Now we're going to put in the whole tub of whipped topping into the blender. We're going to pour in our six ounces of pineapple juice. And then you blend it till it's smooth and creamy. Let it rip! Now transfer the mixture into the plastic bag. Now seal up your bag and then we're going to cut off the corner. You can serve it as regular whip or make it into a float by adding more pineapple juice. It's good. Mmm. Mm. Now I see why those kings kept pineapples all to themselves. This is royally good. Well, just call me the queen of hacks. Cheers. Remember to subscribe to Jumrix TV and to click here for more life hacks for kids with me, Jillian.